my fellow people, welcome to Woot Plays, where we're going to play some Pikmin for the demo. Oh, I know. I was just, I was getting ready to play some Zelda. New Zelda game just came out last month, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, and I was getting ready to play that. And while I was getting ready to do, do, do uh, Pikmin 4 demo. Well, I got to see that. So, oh, okay. First, let me start with uh, spoilers everywhere. So if you, you're going to get the game and you're going to play it, stop this video and just go away. Because spoilers, mm, all right? Mostly spoilers. Uh, there are some things I cut out uh, just for time. So it's going to look more like a, uh, a walkthrough rather than a tutorial, mostly. There, there's some things I left in, some things I took out as far as instructions and, uh, and uh, just speeches by other characters and stuff like that. So... Uh, uh, spoilers, um, if you're going to play it, go away. All right? <laughs> but, but if you have played it, go ahead and watch my video so you can see what I found. And you can look at it and go, oh, he missed that. <laughs> I, could, I did miss one thing I know about. And I'll tell you about that later. Um, uh, da, 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 I think that's it. All right? So let's, let's, play, uh, let's play our demo of Pikmin 4. Okay, here we go. Uh, but this is me just fine. Okay, I'm watching these uh, little. Uh, okay, green. I th I thought there was actually a green Pikmin in the game, and there still might be, because we haven't seen the whole game, or I haven't. So, uh, but anyway, while I'm this is while I'm downloading, so uh, I'm just kind of looking through the little promo uh, bits here. So. Uh, that there, that's the thing I forgot. I forgot that Ochi travels on water. I wish I'd remembered that, but uh, what can you do? All right, so Pikmin 4, close the shop, and what's going on? Uh, okay, see the status bar? It's only like, like this big. So I'm going to go over here and play some uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. 29 minutes remaining. Time to play some Zelda. So I went ahead and did that. And then here's my time passage mon well, not a montage, but but uh, uh, you'll see it here in a second. Oh, what's going on? Playing the game and well, I thought, yeah, here we go. Tick 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 tick, and then the, the, the Pikmin Four is all uh, loaded up. So we're closing the software. And like I say, I cut a lot of instructions out of it. And I don't know how much of the demo is actually in the real game, in the full game. If that if part of it is um, in the, the whole game or just for the demo. So demo Pikmin 4. Yes. This, this is so awesome. I've seen the videos and... Then Zelda came out, and I kind of forgot about Pikmin 4 for a little, little bit. Now, there's some stuff you can transfer from the demo to uh, to the full game. So, uh, I got that going on. This demo version is complete once you collect 1,500 units of Sparklium and finish exploring for the day. You can import your saved data from the demo into the full version of the game. What I didn't think of is that I could explore the whole area and not get enough sparkly to end the day. So I can go days and days and days and days and days. Just go opening areas and going to new places and doing new things. And But I got carried away and ended the thing after five. I think it was five days. So I am Captain Al I am Captain Olimar. I command the spaceship called the SS Dolphin. Boom. Okay, this, I don't know when the story takes place, after Pikmin 3, I guess, because some of this stuff didn't happen in the, in the, in the, in the game, and how it was ultimately rescued. Sorry. See, I don't know if this part is actually in the full game. After the crash, I woke up to find my ship was in pieces, scattered, scattered everywhere. I don't know why he has such a deep voice, he's such a little guy. I had no way of returning home to my beloved family. I thought I was doomed. But then... Mm, 
boot. Until I encountered a strange species. Now, he had never heard of them before, it seems like. So this is the, from the first one? But it can't be because, well, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. Pigment had an innate desire to carry things. I, I didn't read what that said. With their help, I was able to find and transport from the scene ship parts. Yeah, he never saw the dog. The time passed and I met yet another creature, mysterious creature, and it appeared to be malnourished. So I tossed her a treat. And after that, we quickly bonded. Will you feed him? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, see, see, some time later. So that happened after Pikmin Three, I guess. He, is, she is a steadfast partner in the quest to find missing parts from our ship. The quest that was nearing its end. We arrived at the last area we had left to explore. There'll be some gameplay in this uh, opening demo thing, or opening introduction. Yeah, you see little bits of houses, but not a full room like this right here. So this is, this is pretty cool. Yeah, see how the onion is split in red and yellow and blue? And Okay, you'll notice the this dog has a leaf for a tail, but the one in the demos did not. So that's not the dog we have. Oh, wait, the, where are you running off to? Mm. Yeah, just took a nap. I think I'd be rested by now for an hour. There are some places in this room I didn't open up like that one. I don't think I did. Anyway. I don't like this d b dog's bark. Just burp, burp. You know. well, he's big compared to Olimar, but I suppose I have to... What? Oh, damn. Well, you, you saw it. Yes, yeah, so he's got the leaf for the tail. I saw some of the Pikmin head this way. Yeah, see, I left this one in. This is the kind of stuff I cut out, but I left this one in. So you hit the X, hold it to charge him up, and let go. And it crashes through the stuff that's obviously cracked. Now, you can't bump into other things, so keep that in mind. Okay, B button to call them all to you like they do. You see how that Pikmin ride on the on the dog. So. Oh, Rescue Pup. That's what he is, Rescue Pup. Wish I knew why Pikmin ran away. I better make a note of this in my voyage log. I think I cut that part out. You know, never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now, how to phrase it. Did I leave that in there? Yeah, I guess I did. Okay. When I arrived in this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the car. Uh, yeah. Okay, what just happened is what he just said. I need to find my... Dang it. <laughs> I, I, I click off things too quick. So look around. See if you can find some more Pikmin. There's a couple over there. Tweet. I don't like that cursor having the Pikmin at the end of it because it looks like there's a Pikmin right there in front of me. That's kind of distracting. A small complaint. There it is. Now there's some pots with cracks on them. So charge. Boom. And I, I notice you don't really have to hit all the jugs. If there's a group and you hit one of them, all the rest of them break. So far, that's what it seems like. I hear something. He's right to take a look around the camera.
There's some places I could have went and I didn't go there. Look into the kitchen. I think there's a kitchen. Or what looks like a kitchen. Pat past this. No. To the left. Yeah, see the kitchen back in there. I didn't go there. I should have. Could have. Because there's no time limit on this uh, uh, in, on this demo so far. I just want to play again. But I got the Zelda game. There's a whole bunch of stuff in that. And I guess I'm going to be playing that a long time. I suppose I could play the demo again. And make some changes, definitely. I wonder if I can get up higher and whistle these guys. No, I'm still not tall enough. Uh, let me go ahead and go up there. Oh, two more up here. Alright. And down we go. None under there. No. Whoa, what was that? Oh, my screen just cut out. <laughs> watching a video it wouldn't do that you go into go into shutdown mode so I just got to move my cursor every once in a while here oh what's going on Multiple people okay so you can use that rush thing right, right here and boom uh, I think I already got it yeah I think I already have it but you can bump into stuff and let it fall down So a hundred Pikmin can ride on the dog. You can't hide from me. Fifty-seven. I got fifty-seven so far. I'm sure there were a lot more, but like I say, I should have went to the kitchen. And uh, it, it takes. Well, I, like I say, there has to be a ship part around here somewhere. Uh, this is the perfect situation to rely upon my pup's powerful nose. Track down one of those shep parts, girl. Sniff, 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 sniff. See little vapor trails over there, so we gotta go after that. We need to stay on that scent. Oh, there's some more over there. Get there. I think there's some more area over there I can go into. Okay, you saw one of those before, and I didn't go back in there. I should have. Because this ends the uh, this opening down right here. I don't see any ship parts. Could that creature be a swallow? Oh, Spikes. Run away, run away. Oh, I can charge X while running around, and it won't trigger unless I let go, so I never tried that, so that's something to think will happen. So it's the interstellar radio. We located it with this back in my possession. I can finally call for help. I have recovered the interstellar radio. Oh, inter interstellar radio is going to continue. <laughs> so I immediately sent out an SOS signal. People have bad luck around this planet. I tell you, everybody who lands, almost everybody who lands here, crashes. Days and weeks pass, but one month later, my signal reached the rescue corps. Dun, dun. They took off toward this remote planet with noble plans to bring me home safe. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dramatic music. Dun, 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 dun. But, <laughs> as you might expect, <laughs> unfortunately, the rescue officers sent to rescue me crash landed during their arrival. Double shipwrecks are rare but extremely unlucky. No kidding. At this point, you might think that all hope is lost. 
But there was one last recruit officer, a rescue officer left at Rescue Corps HQ. A rookie. You. That's right. You are my last hope. No pressure. <laughs> Emergency mission. Weep, weep, weep. Rescue the rescue corps. Follow, following emergency protocols, all officers are, were directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Find the dis, dispersed rescue corps, something, something. Create your ID badge and deploy immediately. Okay, this is the first cool thing. You get to make your own avatar person. And I sh Okay, the, the... I'm thinking of the rosy cheeks, the fresh face recruit. And now this is the part I skipped past, and I should have went back, and I couldn't... Because I wanted to... Well, see what my options were as far as body type, height, weight, that kind of thing. So you can choose your face. I went with that one. That double eyed one was pretty creepy. That kind of reminds me of the mummy from the Tom Cruise movie. No, the bangs are a little weird. I like symmetry, so I, li I went with this one here. There we go. So, what goes with the blue? Blue and red? Thing is, I went blue and blue. Now I wonder if my choice affected all the other characters, because all the other characters have blue uniforms. So I kind of think I did that. So that's what I'm going to do next time: is uh, just get a whole different, uh, whole different uh, color scheme. But I think everybody has the same. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, I happen to pick the color that everyone else had already. No, I don't think so. Too much of a quinky dink. So, should have went with Woods. That's what I usually do. Oh, well. Okay, ready to deploy. Yes, sir. Rescue Corps' newest officer. They recently accepted a dangerous mission on to uh, something. Something, something. Hopefully, you can read faster than me. Right? But once you play the game, you'll see all this stuff anyway. Not only. My fate, but the fate of the rescue corps. <laughs> Best in the hands of one inexperienced adventurer. And I'm the only one who doesn't crash land. <laughs> That's messed up. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. Okay, that was one of my questions. When do we meet Ochi? And turns out, there he is. In fact, he's the first creature we meet. Before monsters, before people, before anybody. I like his bark. As he has a little fluffy tail, not the leaf tail. Rescue pups. This young, loyal rescue pup is one of an elite breed of space dogs that's long served the Shepherd family. This is his first mission. Now, the Shepherd family isn't a family, it's like a corporation and we're a family, that kind of thing. Found the rescue pup. You encountered the rescue corps' rescue pup, Ochi. The remaining six rescue officers are still out there somewhere. Ochi is trying to tell you something. Woof, woof, woof. And our first rescue. You found someone in need of rescuing. This is so cool. Okay. Now, I've seen this in the demos, so this will be... There we go. It, lock, it locks on. That's nice. This will be... That's where it has that, it's that big lump, but as soon as he pulls it out of there, it disappears completely. <laughs> All dirt has been removed. 
I like how the, the pup wakes him up by licking his helmet. Huh? 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 Is that you, Ochi? Thank the stars. I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ, so All you right. and Ochi found and rescued me. That's actually quite surprising. I've never known Ochi to listen to All anyone right. other than our captain. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications officer, operator for the, the, the something. As a rescue corps comms operator, I clicked it too fast. You'll, you'll be able to read it later, so. Found comms operator Colin. You met up with Colin, etc. Oh, before I forget, take this. It's our uh, little rescue, our little notification pad thing, which he carries an extra one of. Oh, where's the spaceship? There she is. Yes, that's Shepard. Uh, Shepard's name of the company. Plants on this planet are gigormous. You always make sure the area is safe with R. That's it. That's the big hole in the ground over there. If only we could find a way over there. Come on. It's impossible to get over hey. that ledge. Yeah, the ledge is a little too tall. Well, where else are we going to go? Or, oh, there's an area over there. I didn't see that on the way in. So. This is a perfect job for a rescue pup. They're known for being excellent diggers. Good pup, aren't you? You're making an easy work of all that dirt. He's using his mouth because he's got no front paws. <laughs> you can see why rescue pups are the rescue corps' pride and joy. Burrowing of Beginnings, sub-level one. We got little clips along the bottom there. Yeah, boom. Now I think that ramp up to the left is the way, so I'm gonna go back to the right just to make sure there's nothing over there. What is it, Ochi? It's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer? You can see your mission down the left corner and look ahead, move your right hand or left hand controls on either side of the screen. No. Well, there's nothing there. The right, let's go up here. Oh, a second rescue E. Oh my. What place to find the captain? That terrified individual you see over there is the captain of the rescue corps team. A truck loop. The captain comes from a long line of something I forgot. This is no time for a history lesson. Hurry up and do something. I'm sorry. Hurry up and do something. Oh no, she's surrounded by creatures. Let's get Ochi on the job here. Boom. I like how it goes around and attacks all of them, not just the one you aimed at, so that's very cool. <laughs> now we can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you climb down? I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging low for so long. Oh. What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you're all right. Oh, you? I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. Did you order Ochi to get rid of those pension ball by yourself, Luke? Huh. Ochi's not supposed to obey anybody but me. Guess that rookie training paid off after something. And you know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. Shepard, 99th generation rescue operator. She's saved by a rescue pup as a child and has affinity for them now. Little furry creatures. Found Captain Shepard. Found Captain Shepard with 
trapped in here. I cut most of those out. I guess I left a few of them in there. Or maybe I left all of them in there, just that one bit. The bomb. Quite the conundrum. I didn't try to knock that wall down. I don't know if that's a knockdownable wall. And boom. Should have taken a closer look at that. I definitely gotta play this again. Talked to one guy, said he played through six times already. Oh, well, that's the, the way out. Wow. Now it looks like a dog laying on its belly with his back legs spread apart. <laughs> that's what it that really looks to me like. Is that smoke pouring out of the SS Shepard? I'll investigate right away. Tango's last words. Camo. Status report. Upon investigation, the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated and that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. What? Will it be okay? It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown and everything's stable. Thankfully, something hung up. Uh, however, the ship energy store is depleted, so we have no way of getting off this. So we have no way of getting off this planet. Need to get a higher voice for the captain. Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log. There it is. Take a look at this. Voyage log installed. And after thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet, I had decided. That they must contain sparkling them. I feel giddy to have found a real life treasure, but my focus must remain on getting my main on my main objective, finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. Get some treasure along the way. In layman's terms, we should be able to extract sparkling from the sparkling objects that we find on the planet and convert it to energy. It can be used to restart the planet out of the ship and stuff, huh? What's that over there? Now, when I saw the the, the demo or the trailers, I thought this was something you collect, but apparently it is not. The little pink, little pink things there. It looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Yes, it's Beagle reposition. <laughs> That's what nice. So everything's dog related, isn't it? And like I said, the ship looks like a dog laying on its belly. Is this what I think it is? This has to be a treasure. Just look at the way it sparkles. Perfect. <laughs> I don't do voices well, do I? Okay, that, that, okay, that's our counter up in the upper right there. So we got 50 sparklyums. If we can collect 250 more units of sparkly, we'll be able to do something. Oh, expand our area or something like that. So this is a little small area. I don't think there's anything going up with that planter in the middle of the area. I looked at it, but nothing, nothing happened. Good job, Ochi. Carry just like that. Bosses say some of the useless things, I swear. Should have walked around a little bit more before I did this. Wink. And then there's a whole speech on all this. So I, like I said, you can read it all for yourself. I just I just cut through the most out of it here. 
why everybody's following me around. Make sure I do a good job, I suppose. Oh, did you see that in the background? I'll get that, I'll get that later. When I get some more pickles. Big people. <laughs> Okay, notice on those numbers on the very bottom right, that means there's nine Pikmin out in the world, and I have three, four, five of them in my company that I'm directing. That's what, that's what that means. Well, there's a sparkly thing. I don't know how much steam he has. If I back off too far, is he charged for when he's running out of steam? Or is it, I, I, I suspect the, the tip of the arrow has to be right where you want it. That was close. Too close. The Ochi has the power of three Pikmin. As far as dragging things around. I noticed that earlier. That will become important later. Pay attention. The <coughs> <coughs> treasure collected. Yay. Hello, hello. Now this game has just a whole different look to it than the previous ones. They always talk about the lower camera angle, and you can't look up as high as you want to. Which I guess is okay, but I guess there's nothing that high up that's that important to you. You can change your angle, but it kind of falls down just a little bit as you go around. Oh, there's that bell. I think I got enough. Oh, only five. Okay. Ching ching, ching ching. You've got this. Where's he going? At? Looking around for openings. And this is that what you see so far is that is the whole area. Can't get back up into that hole. You wouldn't need to. There's nothing over there. Energy from the treasure will be extracted and something else. I get impatient. <laughs> I should have read it when I was recording this just so I could just pause long enough to see it. Oh, this started out to be, I don't know if I said this, a three hour and 10 minutes, a three hour and 12 minute video. And I chopped it down to two hours and 10 minutes. And I decided to cut that in half. So this is only half the I didn't I don't think I said that. This is the well it's in the title. So you can see that. This is part one of two parts. We've restored the SS Shepherd. Day one results, two rescues. Yay! Spartan discovered. And they have those weird names for them too. Rescue day, rescue mission day two. I skipped like, like I say, you can tell I skipped a lot of stuff there. Oh, she's happy to see me.
collect 1500 units of sparkling and finish the day to complete the demo afterwards you can receive or rewards both in the smart device app picking bloom and and in the full version of the game somebody said something about a uniform that you take with you. i don't know if he's talking about the one that i picked or something completely different Colin, are you free to chat real quick? Let me go, go talk to him right now. I need more big people. Now you see in the lower right how that has that red Pikmin with the 11. That's how many you have with you. And you can use your bumper buttons to rotate through all the creatures. OG and the Pikmin and the different colors and everything else. Okay, here's here's something significant. Ah, significant. No. Huh? The onion stopped spitting out seeds. Based on its life signs from inside the onion, there are clearly more Pikmin in there. Maybe they have evolved to self-limit how many can be out on the surface to prevent loss. So you can only have 20 Pikmin of each color, I'm thinking. And Colin still has to chat. I better go see what he's up to. Let me get these guys to Yeah, I still don't, don't like that Pikmin on the end of the cursor. I do not care for that. Will it always be red when I get other Pikmin? Probably not. If I have a yellow pigment, that, that little cursor guy uh, changes too. You'll be pleased to learn that I installed a new app onto your pad. Find more. You'll find it more than useful when you're out in the field. Now that we have sorted that out, are you ready to go out there and explore? Ready to explore, sir. Which way would you like to explore? Well, there's only one available, so. Beep, 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 beep. Ping! Spun Sun Speckled Terrace. And it is huge. Travel to Sun Speckled Terrace. Yes, please. And I'm definitely going to play this again. Like I said, I want to play the Zelda because there's just so much to do, so much to find. And I want to play this one more time. Just. Mm. Sun Speckled Terrace Progress Zero, of course. Rescues, treasures, and onions. There's those hints in the lower left. Motion controls. Tilt the controller while you're holding something. I think so you can tilt so you can see what's going on. That's pretty nice. That is nice. Now the wagon wheel is not a place I had gone. I I just got to the point where that was available and then everything ended. My fault. I made it. Down. But see, the the demo will not get you out of that area because you need enough sparkling to open other areas. But you'll also win the game. So, but I do want to explore the entire area and not get so much sparkler, sparkler, or whatever. Um, okay. See the clock at the top left of the corner of your screen. It's set up so that the hand will reach the rightmost edge of the area's local time. Search for a missing rescue officer during the day, but hustle back at night. I like that little clock better than that line, that heads up display line, line across the top of the screen. I like this one better. Okay, so yeah, you can only do 20. Ready to call your Pikmin? Oh, yeah, I keep sending Oshi by mistake. I didn't mean to do that. That's all right. Yes, he carries three. Okay, here's something new. That's pretty. That's a pretty rock, isn't it? It doesn't seem like treasure, but it might be useful. Let's go ahead and grab those. Here's our creatures. You can lock onto them, and boom, just like that. That is awesome. There he is. Oh, she came back to you. Shepard keeps telling me that every time he shows up, like I don't know. I don't see boss and fucking Oh, there he 
What did that say? Ancient something? I guess every landing site has its own name or something. I don't know. There's something up there to the right. Yeah. I need to do something about this wall. I did that wrong. Let me try that again. Well, let me get these. Bump a button. That's going to work. Mm -hmm. Boom! Well, every time you break a wall, some of that, uh, uh, that right there gets produced. So that's kind of nice. And creatures do too. Have to, to pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. Boom! Got a couple more pieces on this. Huzzah! Now we can get past that wall. There's some eggs. Let's go check out the eggs. Okay, that's some more of that nectar. But, uh, You lost track of anything, Mother, Mother. boss. You can't, that wall's too high to jump up. So. Okay, so let's go back over here and get some more Pikmin. Retrieve some more. Alright, where can we go? There's just a bunch of stuff past all this. There's another subterranean thing over there. Let's get these guys powered up here. Mm -hmm. and, oh. Nice flowers. Lots of pretty flowers. Okay, it's, oh, we got one more that haven't. They're hard to control. You can't control them like you could in the other games. Yet. There it is. All right. Look, there's a cave here too. New cave discovered. No. Okay, I didn't, I didn't want to go down just yet. Yeah, probably should have. Pretty far from the SS Beagle. Oh, there's some more of those. Uh, Pellets. We'll call them pellets. No, no, the flowers have the pellets. Yeah, that looks like another. You see those little pink rocks? That looks like another landing site. Let get over there. Another circle of stones. We keep finding them in the most opportune places. Yeah, they hit that creature and they got another one of those little walk. White, we'll call them white pellets. Yeah, see, that had a, a name to that one, too. I didn't see what it was. We'll, we'll find out later. I did not think to, to ride Yoshi, uh, Ochi across the water. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Just. Burr. I don't <laughs> Oh, well. Like I said, I want to play again just to, uh, just to do that. Watch out. Was this under construction at some point? I wonder who was working on it. I'm sure we could put it to good use if it was finished. There's some more. Let's get those guys over there. And need to get some more. Okay, here's the thing. When they're picking up those white pellets, when they're done picking them up, they don't go back to the site where the pellets were. They go, they stay at the, the, the onion, or the, the ship, because they know somebody else got the last one, so they don't have to go back. So no one will be waiting where the pile was, and that's a very nice improvement. You don't have to remember where the where the pile was. 
Oh, why don't you take damage? They got the little bug. Hey. Hey. Some more jars. Okay, we gotta find the find the home base. Yeah, there's the that broken wall right there and the park bench. So we're in the right area. Go get him, dude. Only 20 Pikmin. That's that's not right. Oh well. I think there's a, a couple of instances of me throwing Pikmin at pellets that I cut out too. Cause that's just standard stuff, so you don't need to see all that. I did leave a few of them in there. Okay, that's where the eggs were, right here. Right here. Alright, we gotta get these back in. Nope. Ochi can take one. I want to save him for something else. Well, there's one of those piles where the bombs were in the previous game, so... More bombs? Let's see. We need to take Ochi here and break those pots. Raw material has been excavated. Excavate. I am just burping all over the place here and carrying on. Yeah, you can take that. Okay. Where's he going? Oh, he's taking a shortcut. Okay. Oh, there he is up there. What am I looking for? Oh, that's where that pile of uh, dirt was. And there's some uh, white pellets coming out of there. So. Raw material. It should, it should be saying it right. Raw material. White pellets. Nah, I started calling white pellets. But well, I don't know. Okay, there's the broken wall. We need to go back and get some more. Pikimans. Or that noon chime earlier. But once it hits that red zone, it's over pretty quick, so you gotta make sure you're not caught out in it. some place you don't wanna be. No, I did actually did leave a few of us in there, didn't I? Okay. Whatever. Where's Ochi? Now, I wanted to go down that cave, but I don't know how long it will take. I wonder if time stands still like it did in the second one. Second picking too. Check the radar map and retreat it. Yeah, see they know that that's the last one so they won't come back. So that's kinda that's pretty cool. I like that dynamic. Oh. Fiery blowhole. Go get it. Boom. Good, we need all the energy we can get. And can we get that? Can we reach it? I don't think we can. Nope. Yeah, we need some yellow pigment for that. No, we didn't get everything up here. Now, if you have five white pellets and send three Pikmin, two of them will come back and grab the last two. Now, I don't, I don't know about this right here. I, I didn't think to try this, but I wonder if you can throw Ochi at that, and he'll grab, chomp that 
thing and drop it down. Or do we? It looks like something hangs from it. If it was the uh, flying Pikmin, then that's underneath. Maybe I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna try that next time. I gotta try it again. This is all there is. I'm not gonna record it, so I'm not gonna. I just want to play. This is all I'm doing for maybe. Yeah, I think so. It has sort of a set path. Zelda is more open. And you can do all sorts of weird things that they never thought of. Probably never thought of. Okay, so yeah, 20 out of 20, so everybody's with me. Including Ochi. Yeah, you see him in the lower right. Has Pikmin in the middle and Ochi on either side. That's just because he's. There's only two choices there. Is that a cave over, cave entrance over there? I'm still doing that, aren't I? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, park bench broken there. Yeah, it's too too close to the end of the day to go down the cave now. But let's go check stuff out. I was contemplating going down there, but it's too late in the day. Okay, that has to be dug out from the other side, so we got to go around. 14 and 20, so there's still two picking out somewhere, or four picking six picking out somewhere. Math is hard. <laughs> well, new phone, by the way. You might, might have noticed I sound different. In this one. I'm hoping my teeth look better too because my old phone Hello? color corrected my teeth to make them a bright shade of yellow and that was uh, seriously my stuff so I gotta find yeah there's our protective area hurry up uh, what we got? I got 63 reds that's all of them Yeah, so none left behind. So, right. search for lost rescue opportunities. Okay, we can go ahead and uh, minus button and end the day here. So, ready to end the day? Yes, please. Co-op mode. Yeah, this uh, you can do co-op stuff. One person is the plays the main characters, and a, a second person can be support or something. I'm not sure exactly um, how that works. It's I think it says in there somewhere. It, well, it does. I know it does. So I got a lesser mock bottom. It's kind of the same names as they gave the uh, the other ones. And zero percent. Everything I did was zero percent. That place is. Mission Rescue Mission Day 3. Da, 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 da. Okay, I think I'll go down the cave today. That one that I've been walking past all day. So. Okay, so every time you start a day, you go back to the first place. Then you got to talk to Colin and uh, go to the next place. I think they always show up at the ship at the beginning Thank of the day. You. What area would you like to explore? Well, the area. <laughs> Sun Speckled Terrace. Unlock more. What did it say? I forgot what it said. At 1500. But that ends the game, so. But yeah, you can explore that whole area. Just not bring back the sparkly, uh, sparklium. Until the very last. That way you can stretch it out. Forever, really. Theoretically. I mean, you don't want to, but. 
Okay, one treasure. Yeah, okay, one treasure, no rescues, no onions. So one, yeah, zero percent, less than zero, less than one percent. So that makes sense. So we got to go down the caves and let's see what's going on. Ah, I didn't see what that said. What the name of that landing? So twenty. Let's go. I like how the, it looks like sunrise. See how it's got long shadows, but in this, they get shorter as the day progresses. That's pretty cool. All right, forget the flowers for now. Let's go find some stuff. Now there are some things that I kind of didn't think of. And luckily the captain does say things that are, are useful, so. All right, let's go down. Last frost for what type of something? Cavern. Whoa, whoa. Last frost cavern. There we go. Don't worry about gathering Pikmin before moving to the next sub level. If you don't have any Pikmin with you, they'll all follow anyway. So that's well, they did that in the previous game. So lots of pots. Let's go break some pots. Oh, you get sparkling down in the caverns, too. I wonder if you can... Well, you don't have to get, to get the sparkling. Well, I think I might. You just do everything else and then get that at the very end. Okay, it shows a counter in the upper right. 343 out of 1,500. 1,500 is our goal. And six, oh, we got 61 white pellet raw materials uh, in our supply. So. Okay, there's a bag we need to push out from the other side. Go get a mochi. It doesn't look like there's always a Pikmin right in front of you where that cursor is. Yes. <laughs> if they change the color of the cursor, I think that'd be all that's necessary. Yeah, so he didn't even hit those two side pots, but they, they're, they're all a group, I guess, so. I don't want to. I didn't even try to send the red Pikmin. I should have sent one just to see what what happened. Okay, that took a lot longer than you saw. It, it took about six or seven hits, but that was tedious. So I skipped right to the very last one. Oh, 25. It seems that a lot of Pikmin is, is your squad bigger than normal. Oh, I see. When you're underground, you can have larger squads because the wild Pikmin. Will join you so you can have more than 25 or more than 20 rather so that's nifty okay what's over here more pots Oh, there's the bag, you know. Push that over. Let's go get the pot, Oshi. 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 Not Oshi. I was calling someone else's name. <laughs> Keep saying there's more pick. There's another Pikmin out there. Now see anybody carry on the Pikmin carrying something when you hit the whistle, they'll stop and then keep going. But if you got if you want them to come back without carrying whatever they're carrying, then you gotta whistle twice. 
Oh, they're doing no good. No use beating their heads against this problem any longer. Okay, so I gotta get the freezy pick maybe. There it is. Let's go, people. What if that's something you can do with him, though? Probably not. Oh, did I get them all? I think I did. Be quiet. Like I say, she does say something useful now and then, but not today. This one. Yeah, see, can okay, see the green dot and then the little blue ring going around it? That's how close they are to freezing. So, and then the green is their health. Found a castaway. Very nice. Let's see what you pull up. Okay, you can't throw the pickman on those. On those are frozen. I wonder if you can throw them at that uh, ice blowhog. I think they'll be okay as long as he doesn't breathe on them. Maybe that's what's going on. Oh, there's a pot over there. So we gotta get those. Oh, an onion! We have a yellow onion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy. We did it! Right. Russ, an inventor, material engineer, and lover of something. Uh, so he, he's gonna figure out those little white raw material pellets. This is Russ, a scientist in charge of things. It's technically one of those years beyond something. <laughs> found the scientist. He found Russ, the rescue corpse, talented scientist. I pushed the button way too fast. Alright, go get it. Oh. Let's go get it. Looks weird. Oh, wow. Does it look like it's sputtering? Looks like a pretty pale for an onion. Yellow. Okay, you don't really have to whistle for them or touch them. See how those, those ice pikmin were idle over the one side? You just kind of walk pretty close to them and they'll park up. Perk up at your approach. I really don't have to have them all with me, but still. What's that? Oh, just bioluminescent plants. That's what that is. This onion is different somehow. Let's take it back to the surface so we can compare it to the other onion. Again, I gather up everybody even though I don't need to. So. Alright, let's go uh, find our exit. There it is. There's a little bike coming off of it there. 30 of 30, back to the surface. Last Frost Cavern, one rescue. Uh, three, oh, two sparkliums and some creatures are worth a little bit. Just like they were in the previous game, so, nice. Investigation complete. Zero, did I say zero percent? Yes, yeah, see the little shepherd flag pops up here. Mm -hmm. 
bigger. Hey, the onion sucked it up. The voyage log says that the white bulb is called a flarlick. Flower garlic? If we bring flarlick to the onion, it will increase the number of Pikmin it releases into the surface at one time by 10. Oh. I thought it was 20 red Pikmin. And then you get the next color, and there's 21, 20 the other. Okay, that's that's different. All right, well that that's where we're gonna end the end this video. Uh, like I say, it's two parts. So on that flower like note, I thought it was pretty significant. I went ahead and ended it there. Uh, so uh, that's a that's it. All kinds of like I say, tons of new stuff. The the, the, the rescue pups and the and the, the Flarlex, that was new. But there's more stuff to come. There are more discoveries, so uh, check that out next time, okay? All right, so uh, I'm Paul Wooders for Woot Plays, and this is Pikmin 4, the demo. See you next time.